All right, so not often to go with the Pokemon Trainer going for the Pichu. Definitely, um, I know that Pichu was a secondary. And like I said, I don't know how serious he's taking Joker, but I know for sure that Pokemon Trainer and Pichu were on his roster. I could see Pokemon Trainer not really being an amazing pick for uh, for this matchup because it's like Ivysaur sucks in disadvantage for the most part, and he's just going to get laddered. I, I, I could see Pichu being a little better here. Harder to combo. Um, is really good at comboing himself. Yeah, and so far, Sweet Tea doing a great job on the opener. Already 42% on S2H, but it's it's really close. Wow, that forward air hit <laughs> from the butt. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a huge forward air. Trying to get that back air out of shield. There is the parry punish while down to the down smash. Very, very clean by S2H. Wow, just throwing out these Thunderbolts like no tomorrow. But I, I see, that's basically the way to approach with Pichu. I mean, you take a little bit of damage for doing it, but it's a really, really good projectile. And yeah. You're able to follow up behind it. Yeah, and I mean, you, you do some damage to yourself, but like it kind of adds up, but you, you you really need that backbone. Yeah. It, it's just like, you're, you're, you you kind of have to like weigh the options here. It's like, I either take 10% myself and get in and deal like 40 to him. Right. Or, I, you know, whatever. I, you know, I establish something in the neutral here. Oh, I like the fake out right there by Jacob. Same. Okay, up throw maybe? No, forward throw off stage here. Jacob trying to get this stock, throwing out those T-Jolts as low as he possibly can. And uh, Sweet Tea showing awareness of that up B, being able to do what they do in the clip view. But S2H. Yeah. Closing it out with the up throw there. Meta Knight's up throw, usually not killing at 120, 130, but you know, it's Pichu, so crank everything back like 20, 30%. Yeah, tissue paper Pokemon. Yeah. And that platform helps a lot too. Oh yeah, the, the platform like super helps. Ooh, I like the fair falling off so you can set up for that pack air. I like how uh, S2H is starting to use his sword to combat that uh, the, the Thunderbolts. Hey man, a disjoint's a disjoint. It might not be the longest disjoint, but it's a disjoint. Oh yeah, we take those. Nice, he sort of crossed under Pichu, but I don't think he was really fully ready for that uh, positional advantage that he had. Right. Okay. I like the downers as well. That's a really good way to cover himself from, uh, yep, there we go. Oh, oh. Trying to go for a grab, I think. Yeah. Here's where the combos start from Pikachu's, or Pichu's tilt. Oh, that forward smash. <laughs> so yeah. close to hitting. That would have killed for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, man, we were just talking about it. Yep. It definitely killed. Oh, offstage situation here, but opting to stay on the ledge, throw out the forward smash. Yeah, so the 200 is uh, no uh, no pansy when it comes to you know keeping his timing different when it comes to uh, recovering from the ledge. Oh yeah, and that's one thing that a lot of people aren't aware of. You know, like just the the rhythm in which you choose ledge options is a mix-up in itself. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, something that I had to learn the hard way during Prime Saga. It's like you can change up your options all the time, but if you're doing it at the same time as you did your other options, yeah. you're still gonna get caught. People right. are still gonna react to you. Okay, offstage situation. Man, Sweet Tea having so much trouble sealing out this stock. Never mind, the Harden Air will finally do it around 160, 170% here. Oh boy, up air, up air, and just do forward air. Look at that. Okay, down throw here. Oh, oh. wow, he's almost died to that. I can't believe that. Yeah, if he, <laughs> if he hit a, one of those offstage back airs, SOH is going to set up for it once again. Okay, nope, just going to opt on stage here, trying to get this forward smash going, and. Right now, Sweet Tea is fighting for his life right now. Yeah, look at that shield damage that that forward smash does, too. It's just, oh, the drag down. He almost got that down smash, too. That could have been it. He did, he did. Gotta be careful against Pichu, but the down smash oh. is going to do it. I, I feel like he could have survived that. I, I feel like he did something to, I, I don't know. It, it looked like he could have survived that. Maybe, maybe. It, it was definitely close. Yeah, that was very close. What if we're gonna see the Pokemon trainer? I mean, like I said, I, I think that uh, I think all of the Pokemon have pretty poor disadvantage states. I think Squirtle probably has the best one. Um, and Ivysaur is not exactly a slouch. He can land with the down air, and he it does sort of like slow him down in the air. Right. But okay, okay, we're gonna get the Pokemon trainer. It's just like the ladder combos seem like a very real possibility. Oh yeah. For sure. Especially on like Ivysaur and Charizard for sure. So Ivy's really big. We're not like insanely big, but he's, he's pretty, pretty, pretty chunky. Pretty chunky, yeah. Pretty chunky. 
Yeah, so I definitely understand why we have the Squirtle coming out first. Oh, and Squirtle's nice. a very good whip punish character, you know? Uh, he's got a really good instant dash attack. He's got some really good combos himself. Uh, good frame trapping, I think. Yeah, just like that, Sweet Tea already racking up that damage. Trying to go for the Hydro Pump, maybe into the possible switch in the Ivy. That's what we usually see. But the Ivy's going to have to come out a little earlier than we expected. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a... a this is a Meta Knight at kill percentage, basically. I mean, all you really need is a, like a back air into up B, and that could kill. Oh, yeah. This back air combo into up B is crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's got good startup. It's, yeah, back air. Back air does not kill you directly. <laughs> it, it sets up for other things. Oh, almost got it. Yeah, he <laughs> threw out three in a row there. Sweet Tea really trying to get this Vine Whip to connect. Mm. Yeah, Vine Whip is definitely uh, the bee's knees, the butter and biscuits. Oh, wait a minute. A oh, smash, though. You see Sweet Tea. Throwing out some tilts. And you know, say what you gotta say about Charizard. I think he has some good tools. Like when you look at forward tilt, it's it's got some pretty Ooh, okay. Uh forward tilt has that tipper, can kill you really early. It's got good range. You look at things like upbeat out of shield, which can definitely kill you. Almost killed Slither 200 right there. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that rage. Okay, even with the weight of Charizard still not gonna be enough here. For Sweet Tea to hold on to that first stock, and now S2H already starting off this game number two with a pretty <laughs> sizable lead. You see all the spot dodges? Yeah, super spot dodge rolls. Oh my god. <laughs> spot dodge is broken in this game, it's crazy. Yeah, look at these champions. Okay, not quite. I mean, down throw is the, the kill throw for back throw, or sorry, it's the kill throw alongside back throw. Um, up throw sim seems to just kind of set you up for uh, more up airs and whatnot. Right, so it's like just some kind of juggle situation. Oh, there's a down air. Wow, I wonder if he could have got an up smash after. Possible. But that forward air is definitely going to take it out for sure. Okay, we got the Charizard. Going okay. back to the Squidle. Yep, going to have to be on the ledge to get that switch off, but he finally gets it off here. Let's see what kind of damage he can nail with this world. Yeah, uh, he got into a lot of trouble just simply from landing in front of uh, Soda 200 with that forward air. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Okay, we might see a switch. More nice. More damage. Okay, so he's finally getting the Squirtle combos going. I actually like what Sweet Tea did here. Like, he, he could have switched into Ivysaur, but he decided to stick it out just to get that one more time to see if he can win neutral, and he was able to get a lot of points off of Whew. And just like that, the percents are even here. And wow, Sweet Tea doing an incredible job of adapting and seeing, you know, what works. Oh, man, there's that switch. Nicely wow, done. Armor. Yeah, that armor. Oh, I think he wanted to land on stage with that, but you know what? It's punish time. Oh, wow. He didn't get the heart. Like, if he landed, if you got a back air punch, that was lights out for Meta Knight. So lights out. Maybe even a grab, too. Oh, is that dead? Dang. Hit him with the side B, though. And the boy oh, destroyed right. the tornado. <laughs> yeah, Sweet T's like, oh, that's a cool side B. Let me show you mine, dog. <laughs> totally dominated. And yeah. uh, you know what? Heavy boy. No rage either. So that might have killed with a little bit of rage. Okay. Oh, got to get back on ledge here. Still slowly ticking away, getting that damage. Okay, this side B will definitely do it here for S2H. Yeah, I thought we were going to see some more jumps out of, uh, out of uh, Sweet Tea. But you know, it's Squirtle time. Yep, time for the Squirtle. Gonna rack up a couple more bread and butters, and then it'll be time for the Ivysaur. You try to get the Hydro Pump, maybe? Yeah, no. yeah, I think uh, getting the Water Gun is a pretty good idea. Uh, I mean, he's, I think S2H is going to be recovering low more often than not, but just being able to like kind of like take him out of neutral with Water Gun is a nice little right. idea. Right, it's always a plus here. And now Sweet Tea in the driver's seat. The Ivysaur is out, and he's got this 50% lead. Yeah, it's looking pretty comfortable for Sweet Tea right now. And speaking of recovering low, yeah, down air. Woo. Yeah, you had to. Oh, almost caught, caught the uh, the high jumps there with the four air sweets He's trying to call him out. There we go. Yeah, that's a really good answer for people trying to mess with you. That yeah. down air. Just, why don't you just hold one of these down airs? Let me just spike you real quick off of the stage. You'll be fine. Ooh, there's this, the very clutch switch for Pokemon Trainer, that frame one intangibility. That's but that's this that up throw is going to do it here. Yeah. And just like that, Sweet Tea going to even this set up 1-1. Yeah. Now, like, if he didn't have that top platform to assist him, he might have survived, but he was in the perfect spot. And I think Slither 200 also knew how, how he was kind of screwed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, feels bad, man. So that wasn't too bad. That really wasn't too bad after all. No, I, I was at all. I was expecting uh, a bit more 
juggling, but, you know, I mean, game three. These, these men adapt. Yeah. And S2H going to stick it out with the Meta Knight. Um, I, I honestly, like, just from what I've seen, it's pretty much all Meta Knight. I'm not too sure if he has any other pockets or not. I was curious about that myself. Yeah, he, he, he really sings high praise for uh, Meta Knight. Yeah, he's the one that convinced me that this character has some of the best edge guarding in the game. Because it, it really is potent and light. But it seems like he's having a hard time getting Sweet Seed to, you know, be in those situations. Oh, yeah. And then you've got things like Flare Blitz. Yeah, that really throws a monkey wrench into your plans there. Yeah, definitely something you got to respect. Do the trade here. Trying to get that uh, into dash attack. Sweet Seed trying to get something started here, but S2H was able to get out every single time. Oh, S2H starting to cook up something out of these up airs right now and trying to set up that offstage situation that this character is so strong at. Yeah. Okay. And he, like, I really like how he's able to use the Pokemon Switch. I think that's a frame one option. It's just like, uh, I need you to get off me now. I'm going to switch. You know, it doesn't even matter who you're playing with. You just got to get out of there. Yeah, it definitely has that frame one intangibility. Oh. And just like that, the Tornado Snipe coming out from S2H going to get him that early lead to see how much how much he can survive right now? He's already at 105, and Charizard is out as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, that up smash. That up smash can hit. the answer. That up smash can hit from behind. Oh, yeah. It definitely has that scoop hitbox. Oh, my God. It's kind of nice. That was kind of nice. Totally missed the water gun, but you know what? It didn't really uh, hinder him that much. And already, Squirtle racking up that 61%. I wonder when we're going to get the switch to Ivy. There it is. You know, I've noticed that Squirtle actually has some kill power behind him when it comes to the jab locks. Like, one yes. forward tilt, and that's, if you don't tech, you're going to die. Yep, jab lock into the F smash. Very, very powerful move. Oh, yeah. Okay, got the charge. Out. You know, uh, I remember, like, during the first couple of weeks, I, I was I was saying on stream, like, Sweetie, I hope you work on the charge out a bit more because you don't seem like you're using it that much. Now he seems like he's really comfortable with Charizard. Yeah. Charizard, uh, you, sometimes you just gotta take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes you bring him in and you kind of just uh, like bring him in too early. You get comboed by a combo character. You take like 80 or 100 damage. You're like, what is life right now? Yeah, yeah. You definitely don't want to use him for neutral. You definitely just want to use him to scare people and kill, which he's quite good at. Oh yeah. I, I think. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Getting himself back into the stage here. That was looking so scary, dude. Yep. Yeet. Just throws him right out of there. Yeah. One of the legendary yeet back throws. Yeah. I see he has a little bit of work to do here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, my God. That, that seemed natural. Oh, man. That that was so much damage. That was just three attacks. Yeah. That's the wild part. Yeah. Yeah. Really thought uh, Ivysaur was going to catch some nerfs with the hitboxes at the very least, but no, he didn't. Okay. okay. Nice landing with the Nair, actually. He was able to go straight into a down tilt. I like that. Okay, right now. These Charizard still trying to survive here. S2H trying to keep the pressure going. Okay, it's Punish City. Oh, he didn't quite get it. Oh, no. Yeah, that's also, that's also a thing. Down air into up air and just bounces you off, and then it ends your life. Yeah. Any, like, the, the spike hitboxes on the...